I guess I'm first. Hello. Um. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what any of this is. I don't know what point it has. I don't know any significance. I. I don't know what I'm doing. And I just realized that's okay. I I have no clue what this is going to turn out to be. I have no clue what I even want this to be. But after listening to Rainbow Kitten Surprise, if you can hear it, um, it hit me. None of this matters. All the effort that I've been putting in, it, it's not, I've been focusing my energy, not energy, ugh, that sounds spiritual. It's not that I dislike the spiritual, I just don't, the folksiness of it all, yet why are there rocks by my record player? Why do I have a record player? Like, those things, I don't know, I'm weird <laughs> and contradicting, hypo- hypocritical. I don't know. I think this is the most fitting for mine. And if others agree, cool. If not, whatever. But, huh. I am someone who questions. I The whole part of my existence, I genuinely believe, is a why. I know everybody does this. I know... Maybe not everybody. I know a lot of people do this where they. (sighs) What's the right term? They. Not question life, but just questioning existence. I feel like I've been doing that ever since I was. Start of high school. Right? When did it all start? I don't remember. Anyways, I think mine's going to be the most incoherent and delusional and just schizophrenic (laughs) out of everybody. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I, oh, let me explain how this started. I, people my age, I'm 21, by the way, that's not real. In my mind. That's still not real. And I'm... Yet, in a couple of months... A couple is a wrong... wrong, I hate when people do that. I hate when people say a couple and they don't mean like one to three. Because I believe a couple can be like one to three. Not in the sense of a romantic couple. I mean like the phrase a couple of things. Because people can use that and say like, oh... In like 15 days or something like that. When, when you use it in relation with like time or like the other week, that can be a last month for other people. No, that's the week before last. What was I saying? Oh, um, people my age, people that I've known for years of my life are starting to get married and it, I think it gave me a real reality check. It feels like I have nothing to show. It, it feels like I've put in all this work and effort and there's nothing. I have nothing. Which, am I in the place where I want to be currently in life? No. But, <sighs> I'm still here? I think that's something... I take for granted because I'm going to be completely honest. I should be dead. I should not be alive. That's not to say I want to die. I am terrified of death or I was. I'm starting to come to terms with it. I don't know. It's tricky. During high school, it was a very strange period in my life. It was where I was the most isolated 
the the most I don't know just distant and all I did was question I was fed up I I I for the longest time grades meant everything to me I am not smart I am not someone who does well in school but that was my top priority in life it was get good grades go to college get a job that I will hate and stay in a cubicle for the rest of my life until I can settle down the traditional wife kids family house suburbs neighbor like the white whitest of white shit but I realized very early, I don't want any of that. I realized I don't want stability. I want to take the biggest risk imaginable. I should be homeless currently. I am intern- uh, ex- uh, eternally grateful for the family that I do have that has been super supportive. That's incredible, but... I kind of want to push this a step further. Maybe this is the manic of all this talk, of all this speaking. But at the same time, when I get like this, I, I don't know. I feel like I truly make something. There is a film I'm working on. A film that explains me as a person it doesn't explain everything it can't explain all the trauma because I still don't know how to do that and a couple of scenes that I want to make are physically impossible of making well I shouldn't say that it would just be very very hard I I want to show flashbacks. I want to show the the fucksness of my mind. And I know that's psychotic and crazy, but I don't know. It kind of feels like art to me. How long have I been going? Okay, not 10 minutes. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what any of this is. I kind of don't care. Not to say I don't care about what I'm doing. I I think I'll care more than anybody else in the entire world. I've been rewatching the like short films and motivational stuff I've been making lately to try and spark something because I'm focusing in the wrong areas. I said that earlier. I meant... I'm not chasing views, but I'm obsessing over them. I don't want to do that anymore. It's probably a good idea to completely turn off social media. Like, we're so addicted. We're so... We, we, we cling to the, the idea of it. Because it's... Our dopamine receptors are beyond fried. We... we, we we nuked them years ago and companies and major businesses has figured out how to capitalize on that. Is my stutter coming back? Holy shit. I'm not in life or death. Why, why is that happening again? I don't know. I think I don't know what I think. I think I should be more appreciative of what I have and what I've made because even if other people don't think so even if sometimes I don't think so I've made art and I know this is contradictory because latest videos I've been making are all like gaming stuff but I realize that's a part of me I realize I want to juggle everything I want to juggle everything and I can do nothing. But I can do everything. I don't know. It doesn't... 
make sense. I don't know how to describe this. I can't describe how I feel more comfortable staring at a camera than going to therapy. I don't get that side of me. I, I, I don't understand how that works fundamentally. I know for five years I've been doing this because – and then I guess that just became normal. I don't know. I want to take this a step further. I don't know what this is. Do I want to make this one big video or do I want to do the idea of posting something every day regardless? It, it's not in the sense of I want to lower the quality. I am getting sick of editing, but – I'm getting sick of editing in the wrong sense. For example, in my mind, the gaming videos that I make, the, the that stuff, it has to be not a higher quality than the films, but different. It needs to – I have to be funny. I have to be something. When – in the films, in, in, in like all of the other random stuff that I make, I feel like I can relax. I, I don't have to go so hard and do so much. Does that make sense? I don't know. I hate that it's become that way. I hate that it's become engraved in me like that. I don't want that. Obviously, I just realized I didn't do a sync test. Fuck. We'll figure that out. I talk through myself. I talk to myself throughout time. Um, that is something I didn't think I would be so thankful for when following my dreams of being a YouTuber. Um. I realized it really early on when, oh, no, it was before that. Editing, let me pull it. Will you stop? No, you don't. Okay, cool. If I go to you, I go to videos, I go to oldest. Um, it may have been, no, it can't have been my first video because I wasn't conscious enough to do that. Well, it wasn't that one. It might have been that one. Well, it's privatized and we'll never see the light of day again because, oh, fuck. I saved that. Ignore that. <laughs> My record player is not automatic, so I have to... Done? Okay. I have to manually stop it, or else the needle will completely drag across, because it tries to be automatic, but it doesn't have an actual counterweight. It's just plastic, so I attached rocks to the back of it, it's very scuffed, but I love this thing so goddamn much. It's amazing. Do I want to flip the record? I guess I'll flip the record. Hold on one second. I'm talking to myself throughout time. It doesn't matter what video. Uh, so while recording, which has always been my favorite part of video creation, I... I will take it over editing any fucking day because it feels like I can do anything. And then the second that I get to the editing stage, I'm limited and I'm frustrated because I don't know how to make the things in my head mimic onto the screen in the sense of I don't understand my editing software enough to the point where I can do that or I don't have the patience 
to manually key certain things. And then when I do, I lose motivation to do the rest of the thing. Does that make sense? I guess that makes sense. Um, But while recording, I would think of the edit like in the moment before it even has happened. I I would think of it in the moment. And then I'd tell my future self who is editing the video to do it. And then sometimes in the moment, I get frustrated with my past. I'm the editing self currently. And while editing the footage, I get frustrated with past self or I want to talk to past self through an edit or quite literally speaking. And then future future self while watching the completed version gets to see that. The past self will never hear the message of the future self. But still, I find comfort in that. That's strange. I don't know. It's very odd. It's very weird. I find... I find comfort in leaving messages that no one will hear. Yeah. That's the poetic sense. I want to practice poetry as well. Um... I guess these are just the filtered thoughts that I'm having currently. Because obviously there are like tens of thousands of negative ones to back the positive ones. But still, they're there. And I want to I discuss and, future, and fully understand this aspect rather than the negative, which I've already lived with for so long. To shorten it, I'm trying to change. <laughs> um, yeah. So, for instance, like right now, I had the mo- I had the thought of, oh, editing this is going to be hard, and should I even make? Should I even post it? Because these are all just thoughts I should keep to myself. But at the same time. My way of expressing that is to upload it. So then I have something to reflect on. Another aspect of YouTube, which I really love, and just video creation, is you leave messages to the future. You show where you are at that point in your life. And the past self may never, will never, there's no may, will never hear from your future self in the moment when you finish making it 10 years later, 30 years later, when you're about to die, certain things like that. I find that fascinating. I'm shocked I'm not a psychologist, but I know why. I can barely handle my own trauma. So handling and helping someone else's is something that would weigh too heavy on me. And I also think I'm very self-centered. See, these are the thoughts that are slipping through. The negative and the doubting and the the self-consciousness of feeling self-absorbed. Which I don't want to be self-absorbed. I feel like I'm not. I try not to be. But it's hard not to focus on that when... My mindset before coming into this video specifically... Was Ooh, we're at 20 minutes I want to be great I want to be I don't want to be one of the greats I don't want that I don't want to have like Immense popularity I don't give a fuck about popularity I want to be able to Live in this environment Where I can express everything Through my content creation I want to be able to make this work. That was the dream the kid had. That that was the dream that I'm still trying to carry. Even when things can get really dark and really sad. I think that's why I've been called strong for that sense. But I still doubt. I still have the anxiety. I still have all of that with it. For God's sake, I've become self-conscious of my own voice something I've been self-conscious of, but now it's coming more to the surface as of late 
because hearing it back, it sounds so young when I know I'm older. And I think that's something that frustrated me. I think that's something that still frustrates me, but it's who I am. And also like hearing from family when you were young, you had such a deep voice, which is not true. I don't know where that's coming from. And after learning that anxiety and depression affects your memory, this was at a bad point in my life. I sort of went more crazy than normal because I doubted everything. After being gaslit for so long and then getting that news, it felt like what is real. What is and what isn't. Not not to say in the same sense of I am a vi- I'm in a video game or we're in the matrix. It's it's not like that. It's more of how can I trust my own mind? I don't know how I got over that, but I did. Huh. That's something to think about. Anyways. Thanks for rambling. (laughs) I don't know. Um, This series or this idea. Good? Okay. The. Oh, I think it's skipping. Okay, I'm going to try to wrap this up. Um, This whole thing is supposed to be. questioning so what I want to do if people will let me and that's not going to be like the entire thing and maybe if I miss a day that's okay I'm trying not to I want to interview because <laughs> even at parties even at like big social settings where I know I should be a certain way I, I know I should just get drunk and just have a good time. I'm not. It I will always care infinitely more about questioning someone's way of thinking. Not to say in like politics or things like that, just more of how do you think? This is a good question to pose now. For example, um how do you think? Because that's probably going to be the title of this. Um, so for example, in my mind, there is, it's a couple of versions. There's an inner monologue, which is sometimes my voice, sometimes another voice. I don't think I've ever heard except for in my head. That's not to say I'm schizophrenic, but maybe I am. I don't know. That's gone unchecked. Um, I also see things, not visions just ideas thoughts i i i see it except for with video creation it's different i see the fucking thing before it's done that has scared me for a while i don't understand it it just happens some could classify it as a thought but i don't think it is i'm not saying it's a vision i just think it's so weird that i see an idea and then it plays out as a movie I see the process of creating. I see the process of making. I see the reflection on it after. And it's weird. I know I'm getting hyper and manic about this. I don't know. It's just something. Anyways. Oh, fuck. What was the original? Oh, how do you think? So I have a voice plus maybe another one. Who's to say? I can visualize it. And... I think I can hear it too. Are you skipping? No, I think I hear it too. Not, maybe not. I don't know. All my life I've understood it as there's been two. You either have an inner monologue or you see text. Painkiller. Okay, 
Let me run you through something. What just happened with me just now? Do you hear it? A whole movie just played to the entirety of that now metronome of the track saying painkillers, painkillers, painkillers. I just thought of, uh, okay, let me try and recount it all. I can't get everything. Um, Walking through a field, hearing that noise over and over again. um, This is, this is someone who's just committed a crime. The knife is bloody and they're running. They see a grave and then fall down. I know that's crazy. I know that's insane. But that's just what happened in my mind. I don't know how or why. I'm going to stop that because that's getting annoying. <laughs> You're done. Shush. Ugh. God, I did it again. I'm trying to break old habits. <sighs> Even still, I have that? Gross. That sucks. Anyways. Um, this series, potentially, is going to be all about questioning it's going to be about how people see the world and i'm going to take a back seat uh yes i'm going to be trying to guide it in asking but whoever it may be and even if i just get one of these done sure that's good enough i at least want to get done two and if i can get one done i'll be happy um But this is all about needing to put everything aside because at the end of the day, we're all humans. That's something that's frustrated me for so long. I know world peace is not achievable. I know because of the human nature and because of the past, it's impossible to get to that point. But I think something that people don't get is the fact that we're all fucking humans. We all make mistakes. We all do things that make us who we are. And I think if the world could actually fucking accept that for once and not be so divided by all of these things, which has frustrated me my entire life, I think it would be a better place. It's not to say I'm going to make that change. It's just something I want to experiment with, I guess. So, I already have confirmation that one person is up to do this. I post it as an interview. I need to to change the wording because it's not. Well, actually... It kind of is. Basically, I'm going to take a back seat. I am going to talk with everybody. And I thought it would be fitting to do it by myself because I talk to myself. Not just in everyday tasks, but in my job, so to speak. So, me being honest and vulnerable, wearing my heart on my sleeve... That is the most me thing I could do. Therefore, that's why I did this. And no one may see this. I will maybe be the only one who sees this. I'm, a, I'm okay with that. I'm content. But I think I just want to make. I think that's the problem I'm running into. I second guess. I doubt. Anyways. Um... So I'm going to take a back seat. I'm going to try and let them be the focus. And if it is done in person, totally I'll blur, modulate voices, stuff like that, so that they can be more comfortable if they want to. Um, And also, like, the style that it's formatted in. So, for example, a thought I had, me, I'm probably going to do very little edits maybe a few jump cuts that's it and i'm going to try my hardest not to say no to making this i'm just going to upload it and just do it um 
But like one of my friends, for example, I can think that he would want a lot more over the top sort of edits, like just random shit, not to say generic YouTuber stuff, but things more akin to them, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, this has been nothing. (laughs) Uh, Thank you for wasting your time. Ooh. That's not a bad title for the series, actually. And this may never even come to light. This one will, but others might not. Yeah. Thanks. That's all this is. <laughs> um, I'm going to continue to make whatever I want. I'm going to continue to just make things. My mentality has changed today. And I'm going to do my best to stick with it. And keep it that way. So... That is fitting. Thank you for wasting your time. It's done!